So I and hello again, this is Alan the Forex Algo Trader and in today's video we are going to continue on our previous lesson series in this case which was now on the language basics. So today's lesson will be based on the subtopic of operations of relation. So let, um, let me just go ahead and open IDE which is now the meta editor in this case. I'll just basically close all these uh, other ones. So this should be quick. I was not aware that they are open so that we can now start afresh in this case. So I'll just go to the experts then I'll go trading MQL5 language basics in this case then click on new folder in this case then expert advisor from template providing the file name which is now the operations of relation then something easy like that one click on next next and then finally finish in this case so we'll just have to push this one a little bit down then remove this one and expand it for visualization purposes so in this case maybe you can just start over here we are the today's topic is operations of relation in this case so operations of uh, relation or maybe in programming or coding particularly in c and c plus plus programs the operations of relation are used to compare are just basically used to compare the keyword here is now to compare any two values with each other and these values can be numbers variables constants uh, results of maybe evaluating expressions and uh, yeah and so on in this case so there are just tools that help to perform logical and mathematical operations let me just have it over here so the the keyword eh, in this case eh, is to compare just to to compare to two values in this case uh, with each other just to compare any two values with each other and these values can maybe be be constants constants something like that one maybe like a variables variables i left a, a over here variables something like uh, that one then maybe real real numbers maybe I can have real numbers something like that one and so on in this case so they are just basically the operations of relation are just basically used to compare any just any two values with each other so in this case we either use a, a boolean we just use boolean operations maybe i can have it as boolean operators are used entirely in this case and these boolean operators in this case they can be boolean false which is that one as it just comes or true in in uh, in this case where the boolean false is represented with an integer zero value maybe i can have it like uh, this one since we have decided to learn to the deepest part in this case they are represented represented with an integer uh, zero zero value in this case so it is represented the boolean force is represented by an integer zero value and in most cases when you are programming we will be using this one as maybe return zero or return maybe negative one or one or any other value in this case so where integer zero i will just have to copy this one where integer integer zero in this case now is used to represent force and then while boolean true in this case now is represented by any other non-zero value maybe you can have with any other non non zero value in this case so non zero 
can have something like not equal to zero not zero in this case i don't know if that is mathematically correct but it is program pro, eh, coding yeah whichever correct correct in coding in this case so maybe th that is what now it's so true can be any non-zero value you can have like something like 10 maybe something like negative negative 7 maybe any any non-zero value in this case that is what basically we mean by by this one so from here now we can maybe have some examples of uh, what returns true or false in this case or maybe some examples of these mathematical operations of relation relation in this case so we can have something like true it return maybe these are just basically examples in this manner so the examples are maybe you can have one over there then we can have true if maybe an integer or a variable that is defined to be a a is equal to maybe you are comparing it to another variable can be any variable in this case can be x or y but in this case since i chose a to be our first variable we can say that we are comparing these two variables a and b to be it may be b and b maybe you can just have over here like a let our variables b b a and uh, a and b just basically something like uh, this one whichever they are whichever the variables that we want to choose then true if a is equal to b you will write it in this uh, manner a is equals to b something like that one then i can just copy this one and paste it over there then change the number link to two then true if a is a if it is not it if it is equal to b or not can have something like not equal to b so if you do not want to you want to compare these variables and see that if a is not equal to b this is not the operation that we use not equal we use that question mark not this is what uh, this question mark over here stands for not then equal to b exactly like that one then we can now maybe move on to another kind of maybe you are comparing another some other variables in this in, in uh, this case if maybe a is a uh, greater than in this case so you can have if a is greater than b so if a is greater than b of course you know what uh, operator to use in this case so we can have if a is greater than b in a, that manner i usually like to have my code with the spaces in between for visualization purposes in this case again so if in this case now we can have the other kind of uh, operation relation operation that you may want to do which is now basically used majorly used you can have the less than b so of course again here you use this uh, kind of back facing angle or bracket in this case the the opening is it the opening yeah the opening angle bracket in this case then you can now move on like uh, maybe it, you want to compare it it is you want to have something like uh, a mathematical boolean or logical operation like uh, what if you want it to be either a is not only e greater than but also equal to in this case so i can just go over here copy that one and paste it over there then change the numbering to five then if a is greater than or or equal to b in this case eh? or equal to b in this case you use greater than or equal to b now this is now very very uh, uh what do i say very uh, I'm, I'm just trying to look for a, a a good word to have this 
to, to just replace my statement over here. It is very crucial in this case that we have it as greater than or equal to. In this case, that is not entirely this. In this case, this is not correct. If you have this equal sign before or prior to the uh, closing angle bracket over there, if you have it in this way, it will return an error in this case. You cannot have something like this one. Maybe I could just have some... Uh, yeah, if you have it before or prior to the closing angle bracket in this case, it is not entirely correct in this case. So you have to have it before or, or, or maybe in this case, let me just uh, resubstitute my statement. You need to have it after the greater than you need to have the equal sign after the greater than uh, equal sign in this case so either way it will be uh, if you interchange it will be wrong so just go ahead copy this one and paste it one more time over there then you can have it as six if okay a is less than Less, less than, yeah, and in this case we need the than wording, less than or equal to or less uh, greater than or equal to A is greater than, in this case now you need to have it as less than or equal to B in this case. So either way the equal sign should come after the uh, greater than or less than sign in this case if you interchange in this case let me, let me just repeat myself again to be clear if you interchange these variables you will get a, a an error in this case so okay of course we cannot compile that one so those are just now basically the main things that uh, that uh, you need to know on the relation operation so from now uh, on uh, the next lesson after this lesson we'll now have the boolean operations in this case this has these are just the relations so just make sure to stay tuned so just comment this one out and maybe i just want to make a small illustration over here let me just la say that we have integer a integer a is equals to 6 and then integer b is equals to maybe 10 in this case then let's say we want to compare this one on the on init section so we can have something like this one if a is a greater than or equal to 6 then you can have something like return in uh, this case, in this case, uh, let me just try to compile. Then we should return something. Let, let, let me just say we want to return one. Where well, in this case, again, we say that if we want to return one, we want to, uh, we want to return true in this case. So we can just uh, compile this one. It should compile fine. Yeah, it does. Then let me jo now try to interchange these uh, variables. Now you can see we have a, a mathematical error in this case or a logical error because the operand it is just we get these uh, these uh, error over here which says operand expected because we cannot have the equal sign prior to the to the operand greater than in this case. So that is now basically what I meant and you can see the mistake. So whichever, if you happen to find this kind of mistake, now you can know that you interchange the mathematical operation of relation somewhere in this case. So it is just half to be something like uh, that one. So that is now all that you wanted to know about the operations of relation. Then just stay tuned to the next uh, video in this case. So bye bye till that time.